Hi, I'm Richard, chef and butcher at the Wild Meat Company based in Suffolk. We've been supplying game to all our customers across the UK for over 20 years now. We've created these recipe boxes using some of our favourite game dishes. In the box, you'll get all the ingredients you need, along with a handy step-by-step -step instruction card. Better yet, I'm here on your screen to cook along with you and guide the way. Let's cook. This is my incredibly simple braised venison shank recipe with creamy horseradish mash, crispy bacon and cabbage, and a rich venison gravy. Your box includes these beautiful Suffolk venison shanks. We've got Blythe for a smoked streaky bacon and all the other vegetables and ingredients needed to complete the recipe. Now we've got all the veg prep out of the way, we're going to turn our attention to preparing our venison shank. I've just taken it out of the packaging and allowed it to come up to room temperature and we're now just going to give it a really nice season. And what we're going to do with that, we're just going to heat a heavy base oven friendly pan with some veg oil and you're going to start frying that off. All our deer come from our trusted stalkers and gamekeepers who manage the population of the deer in the surrounding areas of woodland riverbanks and farmland. Keep turning the venison shank to ensure that it's browned all over. The venison shank we're using comes from a fallow deer which tend to be the most common in our area. All the venison we use is truly wild which means they're really rich in flavour and this is just because of their varied natural diet. Once the venison shank has got colour on all the sides it should take a few minutes we're just going to set it to one side to rest. You can then return the same pan back onto the heat. You top it up with a little bit of oil if you need to. Then we're going to add all our diced vegetables. So we've got celery, carrot, onion and garlic all in there. I'm just going to fry that off. Once the vegetables have slightly softened and we now have some colour, we can return the venison to the pan. With that we can follow with the red wine. Once the red wine is in the pan we can leave that and we want that to reduce down. Once the wine is reduced in the pan so that there's virtually none of it left, you can just see a little bit there. We can add our stock and the thyme. Now place the lid on the pan and pop that in a preheated oven at 170 degrees to braise for around two and a half to three hours, just until that meat starts falling off the bone. Make the mashed potato by peeling the potatoes, quartering them and covering them in cold water. Slightly salt it and put on to boil. Now that the mash is underway, we'll turn our attention to the cabbage. All we want to do here is just half it, remove that hard central root, and now just, we're just going to cut the cabbage into long, reasonably thin strands. With our cabbage all chopped up, we just grab our bacon, dice it into nice chunks. Now we've taken the venison shank out just to rest for a few minutes. We can use this time to reduce the sauce down on a high heat, which will leave us with a nice, rich, glossy gravy for serving. So we've now boiled the potatoes and I've just given them a good mash. So we're going to add our cream, a little bit of butter, some horseradish sauce. You want to give that a good season. And then we can whisk it all up together. So if we get a pan hot, we get a splash of vegetable oil. Once that's hot, we can go in with the bacon. Whilst the bacon's frying, you can always just blanch the cabbage just for around 30 seconds. Once the bacon's been frying for a few minutes and we've got nice brown colour, we can go in with the blanched cabbage. All we've done here is cook the cabbage so it's nice and soft. It doesn't need to go in for long, just around 30 seconds. 
Once the cabbage is in the pan and we've given it a really good mix, all we need to do now is just add the mustard and add some seasoning. With everything in the pan, it's all heated through, we're now ready to serve. My favourite thing about this dish is although it takes a little bit of time to make, you're left with this really beautiful show-stopping supper. While you may be familiar with cooking something like lamb shanks, the cooking technique is very similar. However, you're left with a much tastier final end dish. Serve the venison shanks upon the mash alongside your crispy bacon cabbage, all finished with a lovely rich gravy. Thanks for purchasing the Wild Meat Company recipe box. I hope this has shown you how easy it is to cook game at home 